The soldiers of the 3rd Separate Assault Brigade are loading into the Bradleys and heading out on an important mission. As soon as the vehicle headed toward the enemy, an unexploded shell got caught under the tracks. But the Bradley handled it easily. The crew only felt a light jolt. The gunner sees a Russian APC in the scope, heading straight toward them, attacking Ukrainian Bradley. Bradley opens fire with lethal force. The BTR-82 is being punctured like a can. Watch how it's firing randomly, not even aiming. The gun mechanisms are obviously damaged. The commander's words confirm it. Watch as the soldier jumps out on the move. The APC has been disabled. Those Russian soldiers were lucky. They evacuated just in time before the vehicle caught fire. Meanwhile, the team is almost at their target. The Bradley opens suppressive fire. The Russians are terrified by the Ukrainian assault. The soldiers from the 3rd Brigade are ready for the fight. The Russians are there. Most of the engagements, especially in the woods, happen without seeing the enemy directly. Part of the team breaks off and moves into nearby trenches that were recaptured from the Russians earlier that day. The mission is accomplished. The sector is under control, but the soldiers know it's too early to relax and soon spot two Russian APCs loaded with troops. Another APC have arrived to support the Bradley in holding the position. They start firing at the Russian APCs moving in to try and retake the area. Accurate shots disable the first vehicle, causing the infantry to scatter. One of the Bradleys then fires a tow missile. The counterattack is stopped and the Russians panic fleeing from the burning vehicles. The Bradley did an excellent job. The fighters advance to clean out the sector. Russians remain in this sector, hiding in the trenches. The Ukrainians are trying to drive them out with grenade launchers. Bullets are flying everywhere. The Russians are falling back, unable to withstand the pressure. Russian recon confirms there's no hope of holding the position. They bring out their trump card, frontline aviation. Su-25s are gearing up for a combat mission. Missiles are being loaded into the bunkers and the aircrafts are on full alert. This is their last chance to halt the Ukrainian advance. As they near the target, the pilots deploy heat traps to evade Ukrainian air defense systems. The planes fly at very low altitudes, unload their full arsenal at the given coordinates and return to base. The rockets explode just a few meters away. The shockwave knocks some soldiers off their feet with only mild concussions. We were attacked by aircraft, over. We're passing the information to the air defense unit in your sector. Give me a hand! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! 
The Su-25s take an alternate route back to the airbase to avoid Ukrainian air defense forces. But the Ukrainians have already received the intel and are ready to bring down the Russian birds. The air defense crew is making all the necessary calculations. It's crucial not to rush and ensure the missile will hit the target. Target confirmed. Missile launched. The air defense operator confirms the downing of one Su-25. Just look, the pilot is trying to control the plane, which looks like a burning meteor. This is an incredible footage. The pilot managed to eject from the burning, falling aircraft. Surviving something like that is sheer luck. He'll soon be evacuated. The mission failed. Russia lost a plane and didn't achieve their objective. The Ukrainians continue their advance. A few Russians remain in this sector, refusing to surrender. Uh, Граната была наша? Нет. Mission accomplished. The position is now under Ukrainian control. Да. The Bradley is heading to the evacuation point. These guys from Azov rightfully carry the title of one of the most elite units in the Ukrainian defense forces. The operation was completed with no personnel losses. The brigade is heading for recovery. Meanwhile, Ukrainian reconnaissance Using drones to scan the area, spots a Russian large-caliber artillery unit a few kilometers from the captured position. The two A36 152mm towed gun is designed to suppress and destroy enemy personnel, firepower, and military equipment. It's a powerful artillery piece capable of causing significant trouble for the newly captured positions from the Russians. The Ukrainians decided to use an unconventional tactic presenting the flamethrower drone. Its capsule contains a chemical compound called thermite. It's nearly impossible to extinguish. Alongside napalm and white phosphorus, thermite is considered an extremely dangerous weapon for covering large areas. Using this method allows them to incinerate bunkers and long-term firing positions down to nothing, as thermite can burn through even concrete. Additionally, the charge can completely destroy any equipment, including tanks. Watch how this drone literally sprays this mixture over enemy positions hidden in a tree line. The Russians can't escape from this. The fire is everywhere, and ammunition is starting to explode. This explosion was captured on camera by a fleeing soldier from the artillery unit. The artillery threat has been eliminated. The target has been destroyed. Ukrainian reconnaissance is returning to base. In the morning, the Russians came back to inspect the extent of their losses. Look at this devastation. The truck and howitzer have been completely burned to ashes. It's likely that the thermite-loaded flamethrower charges have become a new game-changer in this war. What do you think about the new thermite drone? Leave your thoughts in the comments, and let's discuss how else these drones could be used. See you soon.